Hey everyone, Mtash here, and today I want to talk about the best mods in the game. That's right, in my opinion, these are the absolute best mods in the game, because the bang for your buck is unmatched by any other mod in any other slot. So, let's get into it. We've got a couple of them here, and these are the year one old versions of it. We've got stuff like Taken Barrier, Hive Barrier, Fallen Barrier. We've got Taken Repurposing. We've got... Taken Invigoration and Taken Armaments. But you can get Armor 2.0 versions of these mods that slot into the final or fourth slot of your character's armor. Now, the interesting thing about this is you actually need a piece of armor from previous seasons. So if you look at the opulent Duelist Greaves here, these don't have the current mod of the Undying slot, they've got an opulent slot. And it allows me to put in Hive Invigoration or Hive Repurposing. Now, I don't have the other ones yet, but I'm farming them. But these are absolutely incredible mods. This one costs 2 energy, and destroying a Hive Shield refreshes your grenade ability. That is like 50 discipline! That is like 100 discipline. Guys, the fact that you can throw a nade, pop a shield, and get another one for two mod points is crazy. The Hive Invigoration, defeating a challenging enemy refreshes your class ability. That might not be amazing to you, but for one mod slot? That is insanity! Especially if you're using something like a Hunter, you can do some pretty crazy stuff with the mountaintop where you shoot it, reload with mountaintop, shoot again, kill it. Like, you, you can get these crazy, crazy combos off for one mod point! <laughs> Like, nothing is going to be as valuable as that. Nothing is going to be as valuable as this, stat-wise. So what? Maybe you got to sacrifice uh, some boss resist or mage resist. Maybe you can't take that strength mod. Who cares? This is 10 strength for for 3 energy or, or 10 discipline, which is going to be a tiny little addition to your cooldown. Or you can get an entire grenade back when you pop a shield! Guys, these are insane. There's also one that reduces incoming damage by 20% if you go back to the mods here. Uh, where is it? Sorry. Uh, Taken Barrier? Where are you? Am I blind? Taken Barrier, Fallen Barrier. Receiving damage gives a 20% reduction in damage for 10 seconds. Now, I don't have the Armor 2.0 version of this, but even if it was 3, let's say it was 3, that is better than minor resist, major resist, bod re boss resist. If you're fighting Fallen, you have now got resists to everything by 20% for one mod slot. That's nuts! You could even stack it with major resist and, and boss resist and, and, and void resist. The value in this for one slot is unmatched. And then there's a whole other one. What's this bad boy? Defeating a taken enemy with a grenade has a chance to grant heavy ammo to reserves. Hold on here. Hold on here, guys. So destroying a taken shield refreshes your grenade. And defeating a taken enemy with a grenade has a chance to grant heavy ammo. We're comboing! <laughs> guys, if you aren't farming these mods... You're neutering your potential build. Because, just, just let's say. Let's say we're looking at the Undying mod slot. There are some raid stuff that is going to be valuable if you're doing the new raid. Right? Absolutely. We can get uh, increased heavy to drop when you, um... Well, this one's the overshield one, but you can get increased heavy to drop in the raid when you have moats. You can get an overshield. You can get relay defender, which gives you bonus damage when you're near a relay. You know, there's dreamsbane and enhanced mods. There's the nightmare crusher, which allows you to get more um, melee damage and grenade abilities uh, against nightmare bosses. Like, yeah, there's some awesome mods in this slot. But at the same time, but at the same time, these don't stack with other mods. So you could take a Nightmare Crusher, boom. But then you could also jump in here with a Hive Armament or Hive Repurposing or whatever you want to call it, boom. And now, all of a sudden, you're this kick-ass character, right? You've got, you've got five slots, boom, 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 boom. 
And if you're taking exotic, you have four slots. Um, or, or yeah, four slots because that's going to take up one, and and the uh, the exotics can't have one. But four different mods, um, unmatched quality. You will have so much more survivability. You'll have much much better slaying potential, and it's relatively easy to get these. So I'm going to show you how to get these, or I'm going to talk about how to get these. Okay. The Hive mods. These are the old Hive mods. Hive Barrier, Hive Invigoration, Hive Repurposing, right? These ones are going to come from two sources. The Menagerie, which is very easy. You can match make into it and something you should be absolutely grinding. And the Crown of Sorrows Raid, which is going to be harder to get a team together for, but it drops from both. Now, I got two of the new Armor 2.0 mods, you can see here on my character. I got these two in three runs uh, of the raid. So I've only done it three times, and we were able to get a couple of them. Now, I'm still farming the uh, Menagerie to see if I can get more, but that's a pretty good drop rate. Now, if you want the taken version if you want the taken repurposing and uh, and armaments and all that stuff from what we can tell the only way to get it is through the last wish raid so if you're going to the map go to destinations dreaming city last wish now i believe you can only get these from the secret chests there's two hidden chests they're not that hidden they're not that hard to find uh, if you need to watch a guide you can do it but it can drop from there as well. And there's even one that you can get by entering in a wish. So there's a room, you can watch a guide on it. There's a room where you can enter a wish and teleport to the different bosses. And you can literally teleport and uh, backtrack to the chest. So if you don't want to get any of the last wish gear, you don't want to do the raid, you can even do this solo and get some of these mods, which is amazing because... There's not a lot of activities you can kind of cheese like that and get some of the best rewards in the game by yourself uh, without killing anything. So, last wish, you can teleport to the bosses, like uh, Shuro Chi, and you can go back, get the chest. It's beautiful. Okay, so the Fallen one is from Scourge of the Past. Now, I believe you can only get this one from the chest in the Sparrow Racing section, so there's a, a part where there's big burning... The servitor chases you around the map and you have to run away on your sparrow. You hit some switches to unlock a chest at the end. Now, uh, this is very hard to do solo. You probably need a team for this, but, uh, you know, the nice thing is if you are going to farm for this stuff, if you're going to do these raids, you're still having the potential of getting very high stat roll stuff. So you might as well. There's no reason not to do this. You guys are going to miss out on some of the best mods if you don't do this. You're going to be drastically behind the people that do. If you're trying to push into the harder difficulties of Nightfalls, even the 950, it might be hard for some people. And so getting every advantage possible is going to be important. Okay, if you don't believe how busted this is, let me throw a grenade, pop the shield, get my grenade back. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to head over here. Let's throw another one. Pop the shield... Wait, got, got my grenade back again. Like, I, I can literally just pop shields over and over again and just keep your grenading. Like, I can get 100 grenades. 100 grenades! I'm playing like an idiot and I'm still getting 100 grenades. It's, it's incredible. It's, it's incredible. Okay, so at the end of your menagerie run, there's a chest and you get to slot in different ruins to choose the armor that you want. Now, the beautiful thing here is there's multiple different charts around showing you what you want and what you need and what you got to put in. Now, if you're looking for Taken armaments, if, you, if you've got the Taken stuff, you can actually use the Reverie Dawn set here. So just choose an armor piece that you need or you don't like, slot the runes in, and that piece will allow you to use the Taken stuff. You can also use the Last Wish Raid gear, but this is another option. If you're using Hive stuff, you use the Opulence set, or the bottom row here, with the Chalice. It actually has to have that little symbol there. And I guess technically you could use this one too, but it needs to have that little symbol there, or else it's not going to count. That's going to be an Opulence mod. This is a Forsaken mod, or an Outlaw mod. Okay? And you can also use the Crown of Sorrows raid gear, but this is another set you can use. And so in my case, 
Um, I'm looking at my armor pieces. I got some pretty good armor pieces. I want to get another bond. I want to masterwork this thing, but I want another bond for my hive stuff. So I've slotted in my ruins. I open up the chest. And boom, baby. I've got my opulent duelist mark. So now, if I go in here... I can slot it in, I can use Hive repurposing just like that, and I'm good to go to slay the Hive. Now, if you're looking for the Fallen stuff, you actually need the Raid Gear. You actually need the Scourge of the Past Raid Gear from what I can tell, so you might actually have to do the Raid for Fallen stuff. I don't know if there's any other way to get it. Uh, there, there might be some Black Armory gear you can get from doing Forges. I'm guessing the Forge gear will work. But I haven't got any to, dro any to drop in the new DLC. Um, so, correct me if I'm wrong. I think those are the only two ways. The raid, and then maybe forge armor. But I'm not positive on that one. So there you go. That's how you get the best mods in the game. Uh, that's how you slot in the best mods in the game. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.